the only way that you can make a therapy better is to understand how it was working to begin with. I'm Evan Snyder and I work at SBP and I am the director of the Center for Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine. Bipolar disease, to the surprise of many, is a highly prevalent, highly lethal, highly incapacitating disease. It's the sixth leading cause of disability in the world. About a third of patients will respond to lithium if they have bipolar disease, but nobody knows why. We found lithium's molecular target, did mapping upstream and downstream of the target, and mapped out what we like to call the lithium response pathway. Well, we found out that this pathway is absolutely critical for how nerve cells communicate with each other. With this kind of knowledge in hand, we know precisely what targets we would like other drugs to hit that are probably more precise than lithium, safer than lithium, with fewer side effects than lithium. If we find a drug that already exists that can be screened out of a whole library because it's changed this pathway, that definitely accelerates progress to the clinic and we could probably be in clinical trials in a year or two.